kick, flip the script on a lighter tip, light a big fight a bitch, cause he was talking shit, name's K Shack and I do it like this. Uh, my name is Luis Calvillo, I'm from the Outer Banks, a uh, small island on the coast of North Carolina. Um, growing up on the beach was a different experience, it was really boring. During the winter everything was dead, nothing to do, I mean all you could do was get in trouble. And in the summer there was tons of people and a lot to do, but most of the time it was just getting in trouble and not doing a lot. My parents, because my dad's from El Salvador and my mom's from Peru, but I hung out more around my mom's family, so they were always trying to push Peruvian on me, but I thought it was silly because they were always like, what do you feel, more Peruvian or more Salvadorian? And I always just felt more American, honestly, because I couldn't relate to anything. Um, kind of feel kind of lost like an alien, really. Because I couldn't fit in with the Hispanic kids either, because most of the Hispanic kids are actually like immigrants who have come here like and but were born in like Mexico or in other Latin American countries. So it was hard to be friends with them too because they could tell that I wasn't born in Mexico or in other countries like that. Uh, I'm, a nutritionist, I'm a nutrition major right now. Hoping to be a nutritionist uh, or a Spanish major. I'm gonna do double major because I'm not really sure what I want to do in school because honestly, I just want to focus on my music. I don't have enough time to focus on raps because I have to focus on school because that comes first right now because that's where I am right now. Well, at first they just like laughed at me when I was like, mom, I think I want to be a rapper. And she's like, no, it's not going to happen. You got to stay in school. And I was like, of course I'm going to stay in school. But so now she's like, it's okay. You can stick with your raps or whatever. And she heard me rap. She, they approve of them. They think I do pretty well, but they think school comes first, but I already know that. I used to get pudding cups from my grandma when they packed my lunches, and I always got like Cozy Shack, and I was like, what is this? This is like unheard of. I was like, you know what? I'm just gonna make my name silly, make it off the pudding cap, so my name's Cozy Shack. I was really big into like punk rock throughout middle school, and then uh, I, I only, for my first like hip hop artist I started listening to was Eminem, just cause I was like, whoa, this dude's different. And uh, that got me into like Dr. Dre, and then so I started getting into like West Coast hip hop, and that was really like awesome because I love the beats, and because they have really deep bass. So I got into that for a bit, and then I like a lot of indie music too, uh, just different stuff, everything from punk rock to fucking country. Peruvian Sunday started at Soar like my freshman year and um, I didn't know anyone so I sit down at this table and Will Thomas like sits down like one chair away from me. So I was like, Will Thomas, what's up? Like sit over here. He's like, hey, hey. The first thing he like mentioned was Wu-Tang Clan. So that's like where it started and he's like, oh yeah, you like rap? And I was like, yeah. He's like, I'm an English major. I'm gonna write books. And I was like, well, that's cool. And he's like, but I rap too. I mean, he had, he had really descriptive raps. So he, he was a narrator, like telling stories with all his raps, like Illuminati raps. Well, originally the name was going to be Peruvian Dinner because I invited him over to my house after Soar or over to my apartment and we were eating, I was eating. He's like, hey man, you need to hook me up with some of that food. And I was like, oh man, it's this Peruvian Dinner right here? Oh, he's like, Peruvian Dinner. And then we're like, that's the name of the group. But then it turned into Peruvian Sunday because Peruvian Dinner just didn't sound as well. Peruvian Sunday's dead. Uh, Will Thomas is uh, uh, off, lost off the face of the map. Haven't seen him in years. The Dr. Time thing. Clocks broke. That one mixtape was halfway done. It's a classic. Shoes on a power line. <laughs> Check it out. I don't know. I felt like I grew from Peruvian Sunday, but I don't know. Me and Will Thomas just can't work together. Because I know everyone has their own creative image, so we have to elaborate and work together. But sometimes there's stubborn people you can't work with. I usually just try to set myself apart. And I feel I'm really open to music, and I'm always trying to hear criticism and change myself. So. I just want people to like my music. I want to like do shows and like just be enough, be able to support myself off of like people just coming and like supporting me, I guess. Hey yo, Cozy, when you dropping that mixtape, when I feel like it, bitch, just wait. Let me concentrate, I'm trying to conversate with this high babe who's been liking on my page. And I'm sorry for the wait, but some things are worth it and some just ain't. And I ain't saying names, but you walking with